You know where you are. This is Nollywood Pictures TV. What is keeping the princess? She should be here by now. This is totally unlike her. What makes a nigga sure? What makes the heaven? Obina, you don't want to tell me what's the problem. Obina, tell me what is the problem? Princess Alama did not show up today. Why? What happened? I don't know. But it's totally unlike her. Didn't she send words to you? No. And that is what worries me. Or could it be that she doesn't want to see you again? <sighs> Far from that. I know something is definitely wrong somewhere, but I will try and find out. Her father might frown at your relationship with the princess. So you have to be very, very careful. I will. Don't worry, Chita. Let's go and check our trap. Okay. Don't worry. I still have hope she'll check on you. <laughs> In the chair, I greet you all. You're so welcome. welcome. I will greet you too. I don't know why we should discuss this issue at all. The people of Ibanku ignored our call when we invited them for our watch. So I don't know why we should give a thought to their invitation at all. Ichi Rama, yes. You are right. You are very correct. I'm not disputing that. But remember, be called and give us reason. For not coming, they sincerely apologized. Are you getting it? So, my humble opinion is that we give thought to this and honor their invitation. Shut up your mouth if you don't have anything good to say. But you always talk like a child. This time we're having a council of elders meeting. The people of Momaku apologized because they needed our help. Okay, let me ask you why would it take them three months? Before they apologize, if not for his service reason, and you are here ranting. May Lulu strike this or throw her head into pieces. Is it me you are calling a child? Huh? Yes, you are a child, and I begin to wonder how you became an Iche in this community. What? Did, did you know how you became an Iche? What? Are you referring to me like that? Yes. How is my husband? Is it deep How is my father faring? I hope he's better, right? Uh, 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 calm down. Take it easy, princess. Uh, why is one? Speak to us. How is the king? The good news is that the king is awake, but very weak. And the bad news? We might lose him in a couple of days. Oh. If something urgent is not done. No, no, we, we can't lose him. Uh, why is one? 
uh, talk to us. What must we do so that we don't lose him? We don't want to lose him. Elulu, ask. You go to Acharugu, the seer of Awanta. She has answers that you must do before the next market day. The gods have spoken. My daughter, come. You pray. Acharugu, the most beautiful. Yet, the most blessed amongst all women. We humble ourselves before you. Oh, that's a full way, Lulu. You are welcome to my abode. Thank you so much, Acharu Gumai. Uh, yes, we have come to seek for... You don't talk to Acharu in her own abode. Whenever you find yourself here, all you do is sit. And listen, I don't cure sick people, but I know the roots of their problem. Hmm. Hmm. Your Igwe. Your Igwe is a great king. That his reign might soon come to an end. No, no. But the gods forbid. Elulu, we never allow that to happen. No, but no, no. Mm -mm. Never happen. Mm -mm. A man, no matter how great he is, cannot run away from his destiny. Go to your kingdom. I will be there tomorrow. Ask no further question. Go! Uh, 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 it's all it's all, it's all right. Uh, we, we thank you so much, Acharu Gowai. We are expecting you. Uh, uh, Goma, let us go. The gods may be silent. Oh, yeah, yeah. They may have spoken. <laughs> Isioma, the news of Igwe's latest development of health has caused great fear in this kingdom. <sighs> what do you expect, my sister? Igwe Heliova is a good king. And the kingdom cannot afford to lose him. But why is the god silent? Why are they not saying anything? <laughs> I have this feeling that the king is hiding something from all of us. Yes. Maybe the gods are punishing him for his past. Is your ma? Eh? Just a moment ago, you were praising him as the best king. And now the gods are punishing him from his past. Isuma, why is this unstable? <laughs> See, I'm not being unstable. The fact that the king is a good king does not stop him from having a bad past. We have come to the end of this conversation before you get me into trouble. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Igwe, 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 Roba. You know the roots of your problem. Uh, 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 wise one, uh, how do you mean? We don't understand. Igwe, Igwe, Roba. Remember what happened before your first law left the palace. Think! Igwe, think! Think!
As a Divya, once again I greet you. You are welcome, Your Majesty. But you would have sent for me instead of you coming here. As a Divya, when a woman is running for a dear life, she forgets to hold a dangling breast. Because the activity of the breast is not important at the moment. As a Divya, the urgency of the matter at hand does not require any particular order. Tell me. What are the gods saying about my childlessness? What exactly is my fate? Eki, Uye, Afo, Nko, Ihegimia, Zano, Unanuwe Hugo. Your Majesty, the gods have not revealed anything. They are still silent. So silent? For how long are they going to be silent? How long do they want me to be in this condition before they speak? Your Majesty, very soon. Very soon. I am sure they will speak in due time. Go. And even if I manage to hold on, what about my wife, the queen? She is crying virtually every day without eating anything, drinking anything. I know. It is not easy with her. It is not at all. Your Majesty, that is expected of her. But what I want to tell you is to calm her down. Calm her down. <laughs> Your Majesty, the gods have not revealed anything. They are still silent. For how long am I going to be in this condition? Why won't the gods speak to me? I can't continue to see my wife cry her eyeballs out every day. But what will I do? It seems the gods have abandoned me. But I have to do something. I can't fold my arms and watch my family's name go into extinction. No. Gods of our land, please hear my cry. I went to Ezedibia yesterday. But the story is still the same. But the gods are yet to speak. And so I have decided to do something before my father's lineage is closed. My queen. My lord. I have decided to take a second wife. I, I, I am sorry that I have to do this. This seems to be the last resort for me. It's hard for me, but I, I, I can't sit and watch my family's name go off just like that. <laughs> my queen, please don't cry. <laughs> you, you, you are breaking me as you cry. You know how I hate to see your tears. <laughs> I beg you in the name of the gods, just give me your consent. And I promise you, everything will be well. that we salvage this situation, then I give you my consent. Oh. Thank you so very much. Thank you, my queen. May the gods bless you. Please come with me. I have a surprise for you. Come with me. <laughs> Honestly, I never knew you have this sense of humor. Now you know. Oh, yes. And I wish that you continue to make me laugh and happy for the rest of our lives. It will be my pleasure, my king and my husband. Oh, really? We shall see about that. Thank Meanwhile, you. you're welcome to my palace. <laughs> <laughs>
Thank you, my husband. You're welcome. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Freaking is my husband. Alolo, you're welcome. Please see us. <laughs> Greetings to you, Queen Mother. Arise, my co-wife. Once again, you're welcome to our home. Thank you, Queen Mother. A beautiful queen. Yes, my lord. Please take her in and make sure that she is comfortable. Of course. That's what I'm supposed to do. What is really happening to me? It's exactly two years since I married a second wife. Or she is yet to conceive. Why must Ilulu punish me like this? My father, my grandfather and the fathers before them never experienced childlessness. I wonder why mine is different. Should I seek for help from another deity? Since Elulu has suddenly gone cold and mute towards me, I know I am the custodian of our culture and tradition. But I must take action now than remain childless and watch my lineage closed. The spirit of my father and my forefathers will never forgive me if this happens. This situation must change, or I will take the bull by the horns. The gods may be silent, but they may have spoken. Through their actions and deeds, the dots will connect. The dust will be open to explain the mystery. So the mortals will learn from their history to protect their future. The gods of us. The gods of us. Greetings, Queen Mother. Greetings. What's wrong with you? Queen Mother, I don't know why I gave this fever. No, no. Queen Mother. When did this start? Just this morning. This morning. Yeah. The wisdom of the gods can never be understood. You are pregnant. Okay, mother, I don't think I am pregnant because I've not seen any sign of pregnancy. You have, but you didn't notice it. Hey, thank the gods of our land. At last, a cry of a baby will be heard in this palace. Hey, Igwe must hear this. Come, 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 come. Come, let's go. But Queen Mother, I don't, don't to worry, worry yourself. The dust will be open. Will be open. To explain the mystery. Show the mortals will learn from their history. To protect their future. Greetings, Your Highness. Greetings to you, my husband. I was in a deep thought when you women came. I want to be left alone so that I can concentrate. Your Highness, you don't need to think further. The girls of our land have finally smiled on us. Lolo here is pregnant. What? Yes. Are you sure of what you are saying? Yes. 
Mama. Are you really pregnant? Oh, thank you. Thank you so very much. Hi. Gods of our land, I thank you. You have indeed answered my prayers at last. My queen, I thank you so very much. Thank you, my lord. Hi. I am happy to witness this day. Of course, you are honored. Yes. I think this calls for a celebration. Really? Yes. <laughs> come, 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 come. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> Lolo! Lolo! What is the matter with you? Why are you crying? What is the problem with you? Why are you crying? Talk to me, what is it? What is it? Igwe! Yes? It's Ubana! Ubana? Yes! She pushed me down because of food! Oh, not again! So, where is she now? Where is Ubana now? Where could she be? Talk to me! She wants to be in front of the earth. Come with me. Let's go. Come with me. 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 Is everything okay? When did you become this wicked? How could you push a pregnant woman on the ground knowing fully well what we have gone through to have our own child? How could you? Nai, how can you say such a thing? How can you even believe such a thing? Can I even lay my finger on her? Not to talk of even doing any other thing? Obana, don't force me to lose the love I have for you. This is not the first time you are doing this to her. I am warning you for the last time. If this would ever repeat itself, I will not spare you. With my lips, I will not spare you. Greetings, my husband. Greetings, please sit. Ugbana, my dear wife. Yes, my lord. If I don't tell you the truth, nobody will. I must be sincere with you that I am shocked and saddened by your recent attacks on Lolo. I don't know what she has done wrong to deserve the kind of treatment you are giving to her lately. Is it really a fault that she became pregnant before you? My queen, why are you allowing jealousy to get the better part of you? Why? But I'm innocent of all these allegations. Igwe, you've lived with me for so many years. And you know me better than any other person. Exactly the point. That is the more reason I am shocked by this, your new lifestyle. Ogbana, I must be sincere with you that you have practically changed. Listen, you are my wife. And you know that I love you so much. But I want to put it to you today that I will never condone any further attacks on Lolo from you again. In the name of the gods, that woman is carrying my child. I want this to stop from this day. I am telling you all this because I love you and I wouldn't want anything to come between us because of this. How could you believe this accusation so easily? 
now. Is it not obvious? It is very clear. The evidence is there. But I want you to know that this will be the very last time I would ever have this conversation with you. I am done with you. You may leave. Thank you, my lord. Thank you. Lolo, I cannot thank you enough. Hmm. You have indeed proven to the whole world that I am a man. And I have a surprise for you. <laughs> I want to give you a treat that you will never forget in a hurry. Let's thank go. You, my husband. <laughs> You're and welcome. I will make you proud. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Please come and sit. Ha! Ah, at last. Listen. Uh, all right. Whew. I am so excited. Like I was saying, I have a surprise for you. I want to treat you to a sumptuous meal that you will never forget in a hurry. I can't wait. Oh, yes. <laughs> um, it will. You hit me on the head with a stick without getting a help. Yet you said, unless I apologize to Lolo. I have lived with you for so many years without any issue. You have chosen to believe whatever she said. Just because she's pregnant. That is the more reason I should believe her. You are jealous of her. You will. I've been in this severe pain for some weeks now. Yet you allowed me to suffer. My head aches as if I'm watching her drums. I'm beating on my head. Yet, you allowed me to suffer to die. <gasps> it will. I tell you from today, you will suffer a severe terminal headache. So shall it be. You believe. But you are free to come back anytime you come to your senses. 
My husband. Are you sure you want her to go? I did not ask her to leave. Anyway, don't worry about that. I know that she definitely would come back. That's all right, if you think so. I know so. Now let's talk about our child. Mm -hmm. I know that you are carrying a great man here. <laughs> yes. I still remember everything. Hubana! Hubana was innocent! And your sickness was as a result of the curse she placed on you. Uh, wise one, please. How will the lame cross the troubled river? Tell us, how do we break this curse? Only his blood. Only his blood can save him. He may survive it this time. But when it happens again, he will surely die. Huh? Except his blood touches him. Hmm. <laughs> Wise one, you have been speaking to us in parables. Please, can you explain to us in simple language that all of us here will understand? Yes, yes, yes. please. Yes. How can he be healed by his blood? That is left for you all to find out. Huh? Huh? I take my leave. But why is one? But but but. That reminds me. How is your father the king? He was asleep when I left the palace, but he's still very weak. And what is this more of your kingdom doing about it? I don't know. He said he will be fine. I wish there is something I could do to help my father. He's such a nice man and I wouldn't want anything to happen to him. Nothing will happen to him. Your father is a good man and a good king. I'm sure the gods of your land will spare his life. I hope so. I really hope so. Because I can no longer bear to, to watch him suffer in pain. It's okay, my princess. Nothing will happen to him. You say? And everything will be fine again, I promise you. Thank you. Cheer up for me. <laughs> I have something for you. Come on. I love you. <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Oh my goodness. No. Oh, I love you. I love you, Lolo. Lolo. You have killed me. You have succeeded in making me believe that Hukbana was trying to hurt you. Could you do this, Lola? How could you? Igwe, why are you blaming me for your own mistakes? Besides, I did not ask you to hit her. But you made me do it. You even said she tried to kill you. Did I tell you not to get her help to stop her headache? Why are you now blaming me, Igwe? Now I know that you are a very bad woman. Yes. You have made me lose the love and respect I have for you. You have betrayed my confidence. <laughs> Igwe, I am only condoning all these things from you because of your condition. I did nothing wrong. And you should stop accusing me. Just pray. Pray that I survive this. Else, I will cause the day that you were born. Igwe, now I know that your condition has affected your sense of reasoning. I take my leave. So this is the reason I have been suffering all these years. Why didn't I believe you, Ubana? I am so sorry. I am so sorry, Ubana. What can I do to appease your kind spirit? Please forgive me wherever you are. I am so sorry.
the way he was looking around, I think he's waiting for someone. Which Obin are you talking about? Ah, you don't know Obin again. Obin are from the kingdom. What? I am sure he's standing there waiting for Olamma. Yeah, Olamma. Are you serious? This boy has stepped on a cobra still. Come with me. <laughs> 